Welcome to clickmeproject.com Now we will discuss about efficient top k retrieval on massive data In many applications the top k query is important operation to return a set of interesting points in potentially huge data space. It is analyzed in this paper that the existing algorithms cannot process top k query on massive data efficiently. This paper process proposes a novel table scan based T2S algorithm to efficiently compute top k results on massive data. The T2S first constructs the pre-sorted table whose tuples are arranged in order of round-robin retrieval on the sorted list. T2S maintain only fixed number of tuples to compute results. Early termination checking for T2S is presented in this paper. Along with the analysis of scan depth, the selective retrieval is devised to, to skip the tuples in the pre-sorted table which are not top key results. In many applications, top key query is important operation to return a set of interesting points from potentially huge data space. In top key query, a ranking function f is provided to determine the score of each tuple and k tuples with the largest scores are returned. Due to its practical importance, top key query has attracted extensive attention. The existing top key algorithm can classify it in three types index based method view-based method and a sorted list-based method. The index-based methods for make use of pre-constructed indexes to propose top k query. However, the concrete index is constructed on specific subset of attributes. That is, indexes have to be built to cover the actual queries, which is prohibitively expensive. This, this is used to do built on small selective set of attributes combinations. The sorted list based methods retrieve the sorted list in a round robin fashion, maintain a retrieval tuples, update the lower bound and upper bound scores when the k the largest bo lower bound score is not less than upper bound scores of other candidates. First of all, we have to select the click URL dataset. After selecting the dataset, we have applied this dataset into preprocessing. Preprocessing is nothing but it is just data filtering technique. We just converting the raw data into the understandable format. We just store the raw data in structural format that means the relational database table. After loading the data, we have entered the input query and getting the retrieved relevant results. After that, we have to compute the similarity between input query and relevant results. After that, we have clustering the data into three types of clustering. First of all, a high similarity and low similarity and medium similarity. Let me see the demo of our process. First of all, we have to run homepage.java. Click enter button and select the input file that is click your dataset. After selecting the dataset, we have load into the JTM. data is loaded into the database. And uh, view the dataset details. The dataset type is click your dataset. 
number of records 332, number of rows 333, number of columns 5. In pre-processing step, we have converting the raw data into understandable formula. That means we have storing the values in relational table. This is the relational structure of data. After that, we have entered the keyword. This is the irrelevant result, all unusual. And loaded into file. This is the loaded list. Unusual. List of ways and load into load list <coughs> read queries and enter the sub query we have finding the similarity between query and sub query in this similarity detail after calculating the similarity we have getting clicking the if any high similar words are exist that are displayed in this high similarity values. If any medium similarity words are exist in table, the medium similarity words are displayed in this table, otherwise not displayed. If any low similarity values are displayed in table, that are displayed in this table and store these values. These are the, the data set is clustered into three levels. First is high level and medium level and low level. The high level is the high level range is zero. The medium level is between two and four. The low level is more than four. So the total number of cluster is three. After clustering the data set, we have to perform the reordering. After that, store the reordered values. After that, we have performing the restructuring of results and store these values. Next, we have getting the list of queries before applying clustering. After applying clustering, we have getting the input queries. This is the comparison between existing and proposed results accuracy. Thank you.